hello and welcome back to my channel so sweet samuel i believe this is episode eight of my channel thank you very much for all my new subscribers and thank you very much to those of you that are coming back to join me again this is take two of my video i had recorded about five minutes and then my phone decided to fall off of the holder I do not know why <laughs> so I will start again so thank you very much for joining me today today is Friday the 3rd of June 2022 and it is day two of the platinum jubilee celebrations here in the United Kingdom so I am wearing my tiara because all girls need a little bit of sparkle and I <coughs> am a princess in training so I thought I'd dust off my tiara that I wore for my wedding 18 years ago and I thought I'd wear that today so, <clears throat> um, thank you very much for joining me. I've had a lovely weekend so far, well, two days. We've got a four day weekend um, celebrating all things Jubilee. And I've had a lovely time because I've sat there and I've watched um, uh, the service of Thanksgiving. I watched the aeroplane fly pass. Um, I haven't watched Troop of the Colour, that was on yesterday morning, but I'm going to go and watch that later on today. And then everything else I have on record, and I will go back, oh, well, I will try and watch them at, in real time, but if I don't, I know I've got them on record, so I can watch them at a later date. Um, <clears throat> so, I've made myself some notes for today, so I might be looking at my notebook. I have three finished objects. Yes, three finished objects, but they are all sewn projects. I do have some embroidery to show you and some knitting to show you. One item that I'm knitting is nearly finished and it will be finished by tomorrow. But I'm taking the opportunity today to record this because it's half term here and Samuel has just gone out with a friend. He's gone bowling. The, the little boy's dad has just picked him up. So they've gone out bowling for a couple of hours. So I thought... Um, I will do this now otherwise it won't happen until sometime next week so the first thing i want to show you oh before i show you do you remember i knitted my queen a few weeks ago and i've done two now i did the green one for myself and i did a pink one for a friend's daughter well i entered my green one into a competition at samuel school the parents were invited to enter a drawing painting portrait whatever you want of the queen and i entered my knitted queen and i won so I will use that as my thumbnail today. Um, my thumbnail last time, my last video was absolutely awful. It was horrendous. So I changed that to a picture of the Queen. And if I can remember how to do it today, I'm going to change it to a picture of myself and Samuel. Um, I will be wearing my Jubilee dress and holding uh, with a picture of the Queen as well. But this is my Jubilee dress. It's a dress pattern I've made twice before. And this is the So La -di Da pattern. It's a vintage style dress. Um, I've got short sleeves on this one, but you can have long sleeves. I've gone for the sweetheart neckline, but you can have, I think it's a just a straight across, like a square neckline. I mean, it's not much of a sweetheart, but it is a little bit. And I really enjoyed making this. I made it relatively quickly. Um, so the fabric is like a mid grey and then it's got little um, soft grey love hearts with little union flags inside. So I will be wearing that with pride on Sunday when we have our garden party at home to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Although I do believe the weather's not going to be very kind to us, which is a real shame. Um, next up to show you. I love Poppy Trefray. Now Poppy is based in Cornwall but she does do some online classes and she's very famous for all her free motion embroidery. Um, I did one of her free motion classes in the first lockdown I think and I really enjoyed what I made. I've subsequently signed up for two other classes and I haven't made a single thing out of them, purely because I never practice free motion embroidery. And I keep saying, I must practice it, I must practice it, and I don't do it. And I don't know whether I don't do it because I don't know if I don't quite like the finished product, the messiness of it. I mean, it's a nice messy, don't get me wrong, but 
I can't even rip a piece of paper for scrapbooking to distress things. I, you know, it brings me out in palpitation. So I don't know whether it's that. I'm not sure. I did like what I made. Um, so I will practice again. But I decided to buy her tea cosy, tea cosy pattern and I brought it as a kit so I was lucky enough to get all the materials as well. Um, and this arrived last, this Tuesday, no, Monday. This arrived on Monday and I started it on Tuesday and I finished it on Wednesday. So it is a tea cosy that should be free motioned embroidered but I didn't so it shows the Queen's Guards four Queen's Cards and then flags that say 1952 Platinum Jubilee to 2022 and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II so I cut out all the fabric I put it on um, is it iron on bond web that you can trace so I stuck these on and then I sewed round with my machine. I sewed round all the bits. So it's not free motion, but it is sewn on. And then all the writing, I wrote with a heat erasable pen and I sewed that on by hand. So that's all hand stitched, all the writing. And then on the back is a crown and I've sewn my name on there as well. And then it's lined inside with this blue ticking with a blue ticking handle and I think it's really nice I've got a picture of how it should look if it was free motion I don't know how well you can see that is it going to focus so free motion embroidery you take the foot off of your sewing machine you just have the needle on its own you hoop up whatever you're working on, you hoop it up really tight, and then you just move, you just guide the hoop and the fabric around, and it's almost as though you're drawing on the fabric, but it does look quite scribbly, and I don't know whether my OCD, whether that's why I haven't persevered with it. I do love it, I love what she makes, and I have brought some of her ready-made items, and I do absolutely love them, but I think I prefer the neat to be neater. Um, I really enjoyed making this and I was quite impressed how quickly I made it as well. Um, I mean, I could have done a bit more. I could have done his feet, but I was conscious of the time as well. I wanted this done to use this weekend. Um, and this will be something that I can then pass on to Samuel as a souvenir as well. But now I've done one and I've got the pattern, I'm going to make another one maybe a Christmas one, um, one for the caravan, I don't know, might make another one. Don't use a tea cosy really, um, but it's quite nice something to have out as well. And it's all lined, it's got wadding inside, inside as well, so it's insulated and everything. So really pleased with that, really, really happy with that. Uh, my next finished object is a gift for my husband for Father's Day. Um, I brought the um the panel last year for father's day last year and i didn't get around to doing it purely because i thought it had been sold as a complete project and when i got it it turned out it wasn't you had to buy other components to make it and i just didn't get around to making it so i decided i'd make it this time and i think i got this from sewing streets last year and it was a large panel with all um, barbecue food, so a burger, sauce, a spatula, um, bun, writing and so on, that you had to cut all those out and then applique them onto a piece of fabric to make an apron. So I had to buy the fabric to make the apron and the strapping for the neck piece. So this is what I've made. So I've cut out the letters that say dad and they all have barbecue themed images on them. I've cut out the burger bun, the lettuce, the tomato, the, um, what do you call it? Cucumber, it's not a cucumber, gherkin. And then I can't sing now. And then you've got a burger with the tomato sauce and a spatula there. And you've got cheese and 
um, lettuce and onions and bacon and I've stuffed this part of the burger as well lightly stuffed it but I think it's really quite nice actually I don't know whether my husband will appreciate it whether he'll wear it when I told him I was making him an apron he wasn't overly enthusiastic but I'm going to give it to Samuel to give to him as a Father's Day present so then maybe he'll wear it when he's barbecuing this is something fun to wear, even if he just wears it in the caravan when we're away. So they are all my finished objects. So let me look. OK, my next very nearly finished object. This should be finished by tomorrow night. And this is currently living in the most beautiful project bag that I got from my lovely friend Paula, who is stitched by Mrs D. I bought this a few weeks back and she very kindly sent me a beautiful skein of yarn with it as well, just as a little present. I love everything Paula makes. I have to rein myself in because I could buy something every time she uploads something to her shop. I could buy, I always buy her teddy bear clubs, but this is beautiful and it's such a fantastic size. This is going to be my garment bag because it's such a lovely size. And in here is my Clandon sweater. And I am on the first sleeve and it is nearly finished. So here it is. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna stand up because I don't want to move the camera again. But you can see I've done one sleeve. I'm just finishing off the ribbing here. Then I've got the other sleeve to use. Uh, to do i'm using these um barber cords i got these from so sweet violet and they are fantastic instead of using waste yarn they are fantastic and um the sleeves have knit up really quickly but i was doing this um was it wednesday and i wasn't feeling very well with pain in my head and everything in the back of my head and um i decided to do the bishop sleeve where you just knit straight until you get to the cuff and then you do your decreasing and then you do your rib because I couldn't be bothered to have to count rows and decrease and so on. I didn't have the brain power to do that. So it's really pretty. It looks like um, peacock feathers or teardrops or baubles. It is lovely and it's so soft. It's just going to be perfect for the winter with the rising fuel prices. This is going to be perfect. I learned some new techniques because um, when you finish the yoke, you then have to do a shadow wrap, which I've never heard of before. So you can reverse what you're knitting. So you're then knitting on the inside part. So you're just knitting the whole way around, no purling. And then you do a shadow wrap again. When you get to the rib, you do a shadow wrap again to get back onto the right side of the jumper and it's got a uh, one by one twisted rib as well. So that's lovely, really pleased. So that will be finished by tomorrow because when I finish recording, I'll go and do the last few rows of the cuff and then I can start the second sleeve and that will be done. Um, I am using, I've shown you before, but I'm using, because I'm not a very confident knitter, I enjoy knitting, but I never complete garments really. In my previous knitting life, I never used to complete garments. I would start something and then 25 years later I'd find it and, you know. So I didn't want to spend a fortune on it. And because it was a new stitch and new, doing new things, I was like, ooh. So I just bought this and it's Hayfield Bonus DK Colourway Bluebell, which is 0969. It was 100 grams I got this off of Wall Warehouse and it was really cheap and I think I bought six balls and I will use this one obviously because that's all I've got left of ball number five um but because I can knit this and I've enjoyed knitting it I will knit this again it'll be another one a bit like the Whitmore because this is um designed by the same lady who designed the Whitmore sweater Amy Loudon of Dandelion and Dogwood or Littlest Taylor S so I will do it again in a slightly better quality wool 
but this is so soft and knitting up beautifully. I'm not in a position to knit things in hand dyed yarn, unfortunately. It would cost too much money. But I will buy maybe something with maybe something with a little bit of sparkle, a bit like my um Whitmore sweaters. They were James James C. Brett, weren't they? Twinkle. So maybe I'll do that because that is knitting up beautifully. Um, next on the needles, which again, if I put my mind to it, this could be finished pretty soon. And I do want to finish this quite soon, is a pair of socks. Oops, hold on. This is living in a bag Oops. that I made. I've shown you this before. It's just a simple drawstring bag that I made and it's got all my little pin badges on it, which I love. Um, and this yarn is King Cole Summer. Um, where's the label? And this is the yarn. Got lots of pretty colours in pinks, lilacs, yellows, greens, blues, so on. And I have teamed it up with a uh, West Yorkshire Spinners sock yarn in this yellow. And I'm just doing my little shorties again. Again, this is my shorty pattern which isn't a traditional shorty. So I've got the contrast heel, uh, contrast cuff and heel. And uh, I've got a few more rounds to go obviously to get up to the toe. So I think what I'll do is when I finish my Clandon, I'll finish this because I do want to get some socks made for Christmas presents this year. And I've got so much sock wool. I do want to get that done. Um, I. The weather here has been really unsettled the last few weeks and of an evening it's quite chilly so I did actually have did actually try on my shorty socks because I wasn't sure whether I would like them and actually they're fine because they're not that short so they're actually they're okay really so I will be wearing those I will be making more of those because then you can easily get two pairs out of one skein of yarn I bought myself a new mug for the summer Emma Bridgewater and it's got all butterflies on it which is really cute. No they're not butterflies are they? <laughs> they're bees. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. Next so that's all my knitting projects. So next up uh, I think last time I'd shown you that the um, Stitchy Doodles was having a new stitch along. And I've made a start now. I'm behind because we are now on week three. Can you believe it? So I've done week one, which was the bee, not a butterfly, a bee in the middle. And the only difference I did was I stitched the wings in a silver sparkly thread. Week two was the green of these flowers. Oh, and the top should be done as well. And they're lilacs, I think. And then week four is this sunflower and this bit going around here. Week three is this. So this is my sewing project for dancing. So I will take that with me on Saturday and I will do a bit more of that on Saturday at dancing. Um, yeah, so that's all my things I've done. So my plans moving forward, what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to finish that pair of yellow socks. I am then going to have another pair of socks on the go. Because I like to have those on the go. Sometimes when you haven't got the brain power for a pattern, then it's quite nice to uh, just have some socks on the go. And they're easy to transport as well, aren't they? Or... My next large garment I want to make is from the Susan Crawford book, and I think it's called Orchid. It's um, bottom up, and then there's pattern on the yoke. And I've got some pale pinkish yarn to use for that, so I'm going to do that. that. Um, I also want to knit a, I want to do my embroidery, catch up with that. And I want to knit a Paddington bear for a friend's sister. So that'd be my next large project as well. So 
hopefully next time I see you I'll either have some work done on Paddington or I will have made a start on the sweater or both because the sweater you've got all the boring knitting first up to the pattern so it might encourage you to knit the boring bit to get to the pattern it's in simple mindless knitting okay um a few other things I wanted to talk to you about so I've just read a really good book. I belong to a um, knitting group called The One With The Knitting Friends. We meet via Zoom on a Friday night. It's run by Lucy of This Nanny Knits and Karen of Knitting and Labradors, um, two fantastic YouTubers. Um, and we decided to set up a um, book club. And our first book we read was called Queen Bee. It was a book I recommended um, and it was a Richard and Judy recommendation and it was a really good book but a little bit hypocritical. Um, uh, two main characters, um, sort of a, a single working mum who's struggling to make ends meet, who works and has her own cleaning business and works for corporate companies cleaning their buildings and everything and she moves into a very affluent area living in the servants quarters above the um, garage of a very nice lady but she becomes aware of another lady who's heavily botoxed and um, living a very affluent life wants for nothing but looks down her nose at everybody else well she discovers her partner who she's due to marry is having an affair and the cleaner lady befriends this girl and sort of helps her out and and um, helps her get a way out but she finds out this information about the affair through um, she snoops around his office and finds this out and then becomes a little bit hypocritical when she discovers this woman I think what her name is now has done something behind her partner's back as well which is probably worse than what she did she becomes a little bit hypocritical of her so it was a nice easy read um it was okay it was an easy read i'm currently reading a really good book called the devil's table and it's set in the silly islands and it's about a family that's very um important on the silly isles and um their daughter disappears one of their twin daughters disappears one night and the brother her twin who she leaves behind has um, become selective mute he's always had communication problems but he's witnessed something um, and he's now rendered mute and then the story continues and the father is brutally murdered and no because of the time of year it's Christmas and the weather nobody is able to get on or off of these islands or on or off of this island so the murderer and or kidnapper is among them so who is it there's lots of uh, fingers pointing at the family they're a very disjointed family there's a book I just picked up from the charity shop a few weeks ago and it's a proper book book and it's quite nice to read a book um, and I'm really enjoying that book um, I might, when I finish this, go and sit on my bed and read it for half an hour or something. The only thing with it being a book book, I can't read it on my Kindle and knit. And with my Kindle, I can prop my Kindle up and I can read that and knit at the same time. That's really good. So that's called The Devil's Table. Um, TV. Um, I'm always late to a party. Always late. I mean, I only just watched... Um, Line of Duty <laughs> last year I uh, discovered Line of Duty and binge watched all the seven series and I loved that and I was so sad with that finish so I'm always late to the party well I've just discovered another um, uh, police drama called Grace I think it's on TV at the moment if it's not on it's just being on um, and it has got a character from Line of Duty in there and that was very very good I think I've watched all the episodes they were an hour and a half long or two hours long I'm not sure they were quite long and they were quite gruesome in places but again quite a nice sit down and watch I tend to do all my jobs in the morning then sit down and watch that in the afternoon before I pick Samuel up from school before I start tutoring in the evening to sort of give my neck a bit of a rest so yeah 
So if you're looking for something to watch, I recommend Grace. If you're looking for something to read, I recommend Queen Bee or The Devil's Table. So I think that's probably it for today. It's quite a short one. Um, I have also just brought some of these um, notebooks, these grid notebooks. And I had just one for all my knitting projects, but then I was having to remember to move it from one bag to the other to the other. So I've now dug out three and I'm going to have one for garments and large projects, one for socks and one for toys. And then each one can live in its own bag and I haven't got to worry about moving things around. So, yeah, so I think that's it for now. So next time I see you, hopefully in a couple of weeks, I will definitely have finished my Clandon sweater. I probably won't bring that back to show you because it will just have another sleeve, really, won't it? Um, I'll bring back my embroidery because hopefully I will have done more to that. And my new jumper that I will start knitting. Bring back my socks because hopefully they will be finished. And Paddington Bear hopefully will have been started. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, lovely to read all your comments. Um, it's really nice if you do leave a comment. Um, and if you are watching the Jubilee, I hope you enjoy it as much as I am. Um, and I hope you have a lovely time on this bank holiday weekend as well. And I will see you in a few weeks. Okay, take care for now. Bye.